All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to take a look at what, in my opinion, the very first direct film printer that has this sort of size, but also the speed to back up this physical footprint. We're going to talk about the almighty, all new Prestige XL4. This 24 inch, four head system under the hood of the machine is capable of 13 to 20 square meters an hour. What does that mean in Imperial? We're talking about over 200 full size transfers in one hour production. Superior quality, full automation, and that high speed output. Now this machine is packing industrial size, five color, C, M, Y, K, W, for full resolution, high detail graphics, no matter what size your image is. I do want to highlight the vacuum suction here for your media, which will allow for near edge to edge printing, keeping the media nice in place as it's fed through those guides. Now up front here, oh, it's a little warm if you notice, that's going to be a heating plate. When the ink comes out, it is wet to the touch, it is not powered, it is not dried yet. By having this controllable media plate here that has a little heat to it, no matter what resolution you're printing on, it's going to prevent any kind of ink puddling running or pooling so it's at the optimum temperature when we get to the powder station with your choice of this part of the equipment. Now if you notice this behemoth of a print hand carriage in here, it's got not one, not two, not three, but four industrial Epson i3200 heads that's powering, once again, between 13 to 20 square meters. That's over 200 full-size transfers in an hour. I'm going to say my initial impression on a machine of this size, this is the first model that backs up this physical footprint with the speed printing to match. We've got a lot more to see here, but that's definitely the main reason this makes our list for top products this year at Pretty United 2023. Right before we flew out here to Pretty United, it was brought to our attention of a brand new direct-to-film printing model from our friends over at STS Inks. All right, we made it over to the STS Inks booth. Lots of see and do's, a whole lot going on here. Got to join by our buddy Shahar. How's, uh, you having a good show this year? Oh yeah, it's a, the biggest show actually from the past 10 years. Oh, Did it, you see the size of this? There's multiple halls, lots of see and do. You guys are taking up a good amount of real estate here. So we're letting our audience know you got a big, bad, new, super fast direct -to film printer. So new, I don't even have the specs on it yet. Could you share maybe some of the selling points or any kind of preview on this machine and how it's going to benefit our customers? Yeah, sure, so we come up with a new machine that with the three head Rico Gen 5 mobile plastic head, as you may everybody know, you know, Rico built for for more industrial yeah, application. Commercial, grade. commercial, correct, and it's a stainless steel head, so should be very good head for DTF application. So the step up is 150 square feet an hour, three Wait, head. Hold on. How how fast is machine? I know you didn't say 100 square feet an hour. 150 square feet an hour with the 12 passes with a high resolution, 150. You can go faster, but sellable product is 150 square feet an hour. We can run it from 24 inch to 51 inch. You can put cold pill, hot pill. And what is nice about this machine, it's, it's the automation. So the automation on this machine, you don't need to wipe out the head. You don't need to clean around the head. It's everything automation. You can see over here, we have a cleaning station that actually you can remove and you have a pad with all the cleaning station does it automatically the maintenance done automatically as well uh, we have a clean solution on board 200 milliliter cartridge on board so it's basically go wipe the head cleaning properly so it's really last maintenance on the product we we have a nozzle area selected so let's assume you have one nozzle misfire you can go to the menu, you can disable the nozzles, and continue printing. Now you don't see that very often with direct-to-film printers, so from a user-friendly standpoint, as far as a hands-on maintenance and operation, it sounds like this thing, even though it is super fast, it's actually gonna need less attention than most direct-to-film printers. Correct, this is more industrial, last touching the product, especially when you have six, seven machine, you don't need to do maintenance. You know, it's, it's fully automation. Uh, of course, it's made in Japan, you know, like Japanese technology. With that multiple print head setup under the hood, that's great news. The less manual maintenance is always a bonus for our customers. If they can focus more on the printing, less on the actual cleaning, everybody wins there. 
Now, I know this is a new model that is really making its debut here at Pretty United. Do we have any ballpark on a possible release date when this thing may be available? So the release date is going to be uh, uh, about mid of uh, November. Mid November, we already have installed about six machines on the pilot at this moment. You know, for the past couple months, they're working very good. And we actually select the customer that's actually running 24-6 on the machine. So three shift, six days a week. Round the clock. Right, round the clock, round the clock, exactly. Very good. We do have 1.2 liter uh, ink per bag, so. The inks are bigger. They're bigger, yes. Correct. There we go. Bigger, badder, faster, and less cleaning. Coming soon to aprincipalico.com. Contact us today for everything DTF, no matter if you're looking at desktop or for commercial grade. Shahar, I appreciate your time. I know a lot of people are going to be really excited. I'm really excited about this model. We got some more stops to make, but hey, have a great rest of the show. Thank right, you, brother. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, Jesse? Now, I know you said something about a little birdie mentioning that Epson may have a brand new direct to garment printer here at Printing United this year? Okay, now I know there was a recent sort of dealer technological demonstration, but basically what I've heard so far is we're looking at a smaller, more compact direct to garment machine that is sized and priced for those who are looking to just get started with DTG. I mean, they brought it. You wanna go take a look at it? The biggest difference with our desktop DTG is our platen is raised and lowered completely on its own, so it's no manual adjustment, it's mechanical. And then our print head carriage is actually on the moving hand screen, just like a UV flatbed printer. And we have our garment sensor right here. We also have a hanger that can extend out if I want to use that. Let's let your mode. Exactly. So we just simply load our shirt here. We can use these guides here if we have large, extra large shirts to make sure that we're kind of lined up and straight, okay? That looks good right there. We're gonna take our hoop. We're gonna drop it in place. Now we have our garment ready. Okay. And so, at this point, let me just make sure that tag stays there, there we go. We will close our front cover, and then we'll print. We're printing directly from a USB right now, so the exact same process as what you're already familiar with. So we're gonna say print. We got green, we got blue, and we got light. All right, let's get the light in. So we're gonna say done. It's natural fibers are just very absorbent. It really okay, so that white base. If you notice that the maintenance layer on top, top so the clothing's very vibrant. Uh, when you get to suction. So if you notice what it did there, the sensor measured what was on the platen, and the platen itself mechanically lowered on its own to the appropriate height. It'll be out so by loading, so no pricing for it, it doesn't matter. And it detects all that guy there is available. A principalico.com. There you have it guys, that's exactly what happens here at Printing United. Three of the biggest names in printing just dropped three big bombshells. Make sure you guys stay tuned for all the release information, spec details, pricing, and more. And while we're at it, join the 10,000 subscribers already supporting this channel by hitting that red button if you haven't done so already. Any questions on anything we covered in today's video, you can leave that in the, down in the comment section below. Drop a thumbs up. We still got more to see and do here at Printing United 2023. Stay tuned for more coverage. Let's go, Jesse.